friends, let's talk Maui. Have you booked your flight yet? Are you up in the air? Have you gotten your resort all paid for? It's not cheap, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of cost involved in going to Maui. But once you're there, once you've gotten your car rental and you're headed over toward your hotel or your resort or your Airbnb, maybe you've even stopped to get dinner at one of those expensive restaurants just because, hey, you're on vacation, let's just go ahead and go for it. Maybe even you've already paid for some of those expensive excursions, which I'm not gonna lie, they're totally worth it. But let's talk about the things that we can do on the island for free or really, really cheap. First thing we're gonna start with is that resort that you picked out. Well, you have paid for the resort, to be fair. Why not use it? Take advantage of the free amenities that they have. There's pools, there's hot tubs, Usually there's great landscaping all over the resort, so get out there and enjoy it. Even my husband and I had a hard time without kids fully utilizing the resort that we paid for. It's there, go ahead and use it. There's also a good chance that you pick that resort right on Ka'anapali or over in Waialea. Guess what, beaches are all free. So get out to that beach, especially the one right in front of your resort. Go snorkeling, get out there and enjoy it. Or even pick beaches close to your resort, walk up a boardwalk, go and find the free ocean that's right out in front of you. Which leads to the next free thing, beaches. Go and explore all the beaches. Our favorite was Black Rock, because not only do you have cliff jumping, but you also have snorkeling, fish, and yes, turtles. They are right offshore. Just be patient and you will see some. Another thing that makes Black Rock Beach fun is that you also have boogie boarding. The waves there can be really good, so get out there. Our second favorite beach was this one. I'm not gonna try and say it, but it was really easy to get to, free parking, and the snorkeling at this beach was really good. you kind of have to go out and explore to find but that's okay too because we found this one at Honolulu Bay Slaughterhouse Beach yeah it's 90 stairs down to the beach but it's not unreasonable to go down there and it's easy to carry your gear down there the boogie boarding at this beach was really really fun the waves were just perfect I got a little trashed I'm not gonna lie but my husband's new favorite sport is boogie boarding so this is a great beach to do that at The next thing that is free to do, you've got to be careful, but it's fun to go into Lahaina and to window shop. I always kind of like to do this wherever I go. I always kind of get a feel for where I can get souvenirs at, check out some of the stores, find out where I want to buy certain things. We had to buy souvenirs for our kids, so I kind of had to look around and send them pictures and get feedback on what they wanted. But it's always fun to go and some of my favorite stores are here on in Maui and I just will window shop every single day if I can. So check out Lahaina and then you'll have a better idea of the souvenirs you can come back for later. Next up on free things to do is to check out the banyan tree right in the heart of Lahaina. It's absolutely amazing. Look for locals in the park because they will give you a history on the banyan tree and kind of the how the tree started and how it grows. We've also noticed a cute little couple that drives around the banyan tree area in their little old fashioned car with their dog and they're just fun to spot. Another fun thing to do while you're in Lahaina is to go and check out the sunset. Most of the time we've gotten dinner while we're down there but sometimes we miss it during dinner. So go down to the beach and check out the sunset. It's pretty amazing no matter where you're at on the west side. The next fun thing to do is to head north on the west side up to the Nakelele, sorry if I butchered that, the blowhole, we'll just call it that. 
It's up on the North Shore on the west side and the drive alone is just phenomenal. If you go just past the blowhole, you're gonna find landscape that you really can't see anywhere else in Maui and it's just stunning. So we loved going up there at sunset and we're blown away at the views that we had. I would suggest going to the blowhole earlier in the morning or mid afternoon. It wasn't blowing very much when we were there in the later evening and it was also getting dark so we didn't hike down there. Next up for free is Haleakala. This one is a little bit of a, gotta spend a little bit cause you gotta pay the $30 fee to get into the state park. But man, those views, they're actually worth the $30. So you can choose to go up to the sunset in the morning, but you have to leave about three in the morning in order to get up there in time. So, and you also have to reserve that online and it's really hard to get those tickets. It doesn't cost anything. They just limit the amount of people that can go up. So we went at sunset and it was stunning. I think we just fell in love with sunset way more on this trip and in our past trips. So we enjoyed being up there at sunset. Next up on the items of things to do for free, go to the road to Hana. It is an all day excursion. Take your time, get up there early, but there is so much to see on the road. I would highly recommend taking some Meclizine. It is a motion sickness pill that works for 12 hours and you're going to need 12 hours to fully explore the road to Hana, get the bread, get into the water, see the waterfalls. Trust me, there's so much to see. You're going to want to spend an entire day there and it will be worth all of your time and it's completely free. One little extra that we found along our way was going to a chocolate farm and they taught us all things about their chocolate, how they actually make it, how they have their own cacao beans and how they actually take them apart. It's quite a cool process. So just ask them and they will tell you how the whole thing works. And then maybe you sneak in a chocolate bar. Can't go wrong. Another spot on the road to Hana that is quite popular is the black sand beaches. You do need to reserve your spot for this. You get about a two or three hour window. You need to reserve this ahead of time. You can't just go down there like we did. They started this process afterward, but it is a really fun beach. We wished we had had our boogie boards because my husband and my daughter really loved playing in the waves. So that is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was informative for you. Maui is just absolutely beautiful. Make sure you stop and look at all the landscape no matter where you are. Palm trees are my absolute favorite and I will take pictures of them every time I'm in Hawaii. But just stop and look at the landscaping. Sometimes I think we get caught up in all the excursions and the reservations. Just enjoy being there. Just listen to the palm trees, look at the flowers. Just enjoy your time in Maui and you won't regret it. Take care and aloha.